Hello and welcome back to the BMA New Podcast, Season 1, Episode 8. eight. Woo. Holy cow, let's go, let's One, go. Two, three, four. Welcome back to the BMA New Podcast, everyone. My name is Caleb and this is my father here, Jim. So happy to welcome you guys back. Let's get right into it. Episode 8 today, we are going to be covering imitating Christ's humility. Big, big. Yes. Humility, big, yeah. big, yeah. big. Mm-hmm. Okay, go, go, go. All right, guys. So uh, we want you to take this message today and uh, learn from it and grow from it like everything else. We have been growing, you know, um, with the following. We've been growing you guys to, to help teach you and guide you. So this is one of those next steps that we can take to continue to be made new in Christ, con- continue to be like Christ more and right. understanding how he walked this earth and how we can kind of embody that and, and try and and try and serve others in the way that he did. And sometimes it's not like just a, just a growing process. Sometimes it's a molding process. So mm-hmm. maybe you need a little molding around the edges in terms of this, this topic today. So Yeah, yeah. So we are going to be reading in Philippians chapter 2. If you want to kind of get my idea of what we're getting into here, and then I'll jump right into the verse. Is no, that... read the verse first. And then the I'll, first? yeah, yeah, read the okay. verse first. All right, now. sounds good. Okay. So Philippians chapter 2, and we are reading verse 3 today, okay? Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. So, I mean, before we do jump into the the breakdown of that verse three and like, you know, put yourself, you know, um, behind others, right. Or put others in front of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's, I wanted to, I did want to talk about what verses one and two, um, say, you know, basically verse, verse one is talking about, um, basically like saying, if if you benefited at all from this relationship with, with, with God, you know, like, let's just say I'm just talking father to son, right? Not, not, not there. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like father, son, like Caleb, if there's anything you benefit from, like, did you feel God's presence? Did you feel God's love? Did you feel God's comfort? Did you feel his fellowship when you felt alone? You finally felt like you had a friend. If you benefited from that, like if you felt God's presence in some way whatsoever, God asked you, and this is what verse 2 says, right? God, verse 1 was that. Verse 2 says, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor. And that's what we're doing now, right? This is what you're doing now. So he says, I want you to make my joy complete. So God teaches us like, I gave you, and I'm so proud of you, that you've received me, that you have heard my voice, that you have felt my presence, that you Mm -hmm. adhere to the guidance I was giving you. And I'm proud of you, but he says in verse two, make my joy complete. He make, isn't that crazy that we could like bring joy to God, right? And so then verse three is, how God? How, you know, he, and he, he tells us, you know, by, by, you know, um, make us happy, you know, bring me joy by have that same love, have that same spirit, mm-hmm. have that same purpose. Mm-hmm. Well, how do I show that same love? How do I show that same spirit? How do I show that same purpose? God, you, I give you're right. You touched my life. I felt you present. Like you've comforted me. Like I felt that peace. Like. Yeah. What these guys on you know this, this channel were talking about? Mm-hmm. What can I do now to you? And that's what verse three is. So uh, why don't you read verse two? And three says, "How do I do that? How do I show you know his that same love, that same spirit, that same purpose?" Is verse three right? Yep. This is how he does it: to do nothing out of selfish ambition. Yeah. Nothing. This right? Like this right? Yep. Not for your gain. Mm-hmm. You know we. I'm Caleb doesn't benefit from this at all mm-hmm. right we don't i don't benefit from this at all right so do nothing for your for your own gain yeah you know? exactly it's it's giving and serving just like the way that jesus walked this earth how he served everyone around him how he continued to pour into them continuously and then he would go back and spend his alone time with his father with god with the father that we all have and but then continues to go back and pours and pours and pours into people service people uh, heals the sick you know and 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 it's not just healing but it's also 
just giving, like giving, give someone your time, Mm -hmm. your energy, you know, your effort and to do it without, without expecting in return. Right. You know, it's when you do, when you are doing these things in, in the shadows and hidden, um, it's God who is your audience. It's that audience of one that sees you. And as you humble yourself before God, he's going to lift you up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's exactly right. You know, and he, when he went to do things, it was almost like the opposite, right? It wasn't Mm -hmm. like. Oh, yeah. some people did thank him, so I don't want to mistake that. That's not true, but yeah. sometimes it was like, "Oh, what did you do? You know, get out of here." You, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, all my pigs died because of you. Now, you know, like get uh-huh. out of here. Why'd you heal that guy from all his demons? Oh, you know. And sometimes it's like the opposite. You know, yeah. it's like sometimes yeah. you're, you're you're doing this work, Caleb. You're putting this podcast at podcast, and you know, you, you may get like a a negative comment, like mm-hmm. you know, what are you doing posting this stuff, man? Like mm-hmm. you're crazy, you know, like someone real negative, and that could yeah. be almost the opposite, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's it's a matter of still walking that walk, still doing what's right in the eyes of God. As long as it's correct in the eyes of God, you can never be wrong, and and no weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. Amen. Yes, that's you right. know, it's just right. like like we had talked about in one um, class growing up. My dad, it was just like. That stuff is like paper hitting hitting my my breastplate, like paper, bro. They throw it at me. I didn't even notice. It. I just kept going. I was yeah. like, "Wait, what was that?" It just falls right off you. Yeah. So learning how to um, to grow that. So continue to to live in service um, to others. And Jesus, he he died for us while we were sinners. Mm-hmm. You know, he didn't die for us as righteous. people. As we were righteous people, right, we, yeah. well, we 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 deserve his his death. He is like, you know, we earned that. You know, yeah. no, not not in the slightest. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, we as a as a, a human population killed off the Son of God. You know, and but he still died for us, and he still wants us to come to him and and turn from our old ways to repent for our sins and to to open our hearts to him. Yeah, I mean, and during his process, like you, you think about Jesus dying for us, right? Like. You know, like we can get to the point where we're like, okay, we're good. We are repaired, right? And and in reality, um, we're still broken. Mm-hmm. Like we can feel a little bit better. We can still a little bit repaired or, or molded, you know, or mm-hmm. made new in different ways. But we're still broken, you know. Right. And 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 Jesus, he was he was never broken. Mm-hmm. He was never broken, you know. But he died for the broken, you know. But he died for the broken. He ch- but he chose to get broken in order for you to have an opportunity to get repaired. I'm gonna say that again. Yep. Yep. He chose Amen. to get broken in order for you to have an opportunity to get repaired. He never. He was always above us. Talk about humility. Mm-hmm. He was always above us. He was always better than us. He was perfect. But he chose to come down here and say, you know what? I'm going to break. My bones will be broken for you. And my hands will be pierced for you. Exactly. And he was so great. And I didn't plan on getting into this, but he was so great that um, in chapter 2, verse 6 here that we're reading in Philippians, it says, well, actually with 5. Um, you know, being in a relationship with one another, having the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, right? Because he is man and God. That's right. Did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Mm-hmm. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, the name that every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. That is so powerful. That is deep. That is so powerful. Finish finish reading that, guys, on on your own. Mm -hmm. He just gave you a lot of verses. Yeah. It's like in each verse is, Power, power, truth, yep. truth, truth. Like you just begin to feel that truth. And that's what we're talking about. When we talked about last week, you know, like being grounded in that rock. Yeah. It's being grounded in, in truth. This is what you want to ground yourself in. It's not, you know, other people's theories or, you know, even other people's podcasts, you know, whatever. Mm. It's in and, and, and the end, it's about what being grounded mm-hmm. in, in this. Yeah. In that truth. Yeah. Are yeah. you feeding yourself 
the living water or you're just feeding yourself you know darkness that's going to lead you down into a wrong path you know got to pay attention to what you're feeding yourself and if anybody could have been like i'm better than them it was Jesus. <laughs> like, no yeah. lie. Yeah. It was Jesus. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I ain't doing that. Because yeah. <laughs> like, he is better. And he's it was perfect. Jesus. Yeah. If, any, if anybody can do that, yeah. it's, it's, it's Jesus. Yeah. But he, he chose not to, not to save himself. He chose not to engage the armies of the kingdom of, of God to come save him. He chose not to, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? But he, and what he said was this, he was better than us, but when he was asked to give his life for us, he said this, sure, sure. Do we think that we're better than others? To the point where we're like, We don't want to give our time to them. Instead of saying, you know, I see a need. And I've been ignoring that need that I've seen, whether it's my classmate, Mm -hmm. whether it's my colleague at work, Mm -hmm. whether it's even someone in a church. and, And maybe we've been ignoring that need. Because, oh, no, that person is, oh, no. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's it's about time you said that one word. What God's calling you to do. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Think about what area of service that God has been calling, drawing you to in your heart that you've been just putting off because, you know, you felt a certain way about the, the a topic or idea or that person or or you didn't have the time or the finances, you know, no more excuses. If God has given you a word, you need to drop what you're doing, pray on it, and then follow that word and listen to him. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And so now we get to do this. We get to picture a world living in service to one another, you know, loving loving your neighbor and caring, like truly, truly caring for your neighbor. Yes. You know, and we're like neighbors because because we're like a couple houses down the road. <laughs> but, Literally, but like, let's say my actual neighbors around here that I don't know, like caring mm-hmm. for them, or just like my coworkers, or just uh, the random person that we meet, like at Walmart that can't pay for their groceries, things like that. Like, what is it? What does it come down to where you can help and serve people, even if it's it, it, your time? You know, because that's that is uh, like you don't have to pay for that. Like, it, you can give your time. And, and and change someone's life and really impact them. Mm-hmm. And so I'm at like, can you just really picture the community that we built if every single person would care for the person around them? Wow. Like if to actually visualize that, like mm-hmm. I picture that's what heaven is like. Well, yeah. You know, everyone is there for the other person right. at any well. time when they need. You know, just like family. Like I'll drop anything for family, but I need to learn to drop things for just like my neighbor even more than I am now, you know? Like, I need to say, when God says help them, I need to go, you know? Mm -hmm. So, when God says give your time, I need to say yes, right? you know? So, I can continue to to grow in this more, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and I I love serving people, that's why I'm a nurse, you know? I love taking care of people, and I was just drawn to that profession. Um, So I get to do it every day at work, and it's a blessing, but continue to do that, you know, outside of work Mm -hmm. as well. Uh, And not not just for my family, but for, for strangers as well. Um, so if we can all do that and care for our neighbor, just the, the strength in that community, um, the love that would be shared is just like beyond me, like yeah. when I when I envision that. If we, if we all help just someone, mm-hmm. if everyone helped someone, mm-hmm. it would be a lot different today. Exactly. A lot of different world. Exactly. Amen. So I have a uh, verse here to finish off with. If, um, do you have anything else to add? Nope, nope. Add a verse here. So first Peter chapter five, verse five. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. 
I don't ever want to be opposed by God. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. He holds the whole universe in the palm of his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am like smaller than a piece of sand yeah, in yeah. that. Yeah, he cares so much, but I do not want to be opposed by that <laughs> strong force. And, and you know, and, and, and call me like, you know, like, um, like greedy, right? Uh -huh. uh, or selfish if you want, right? But like sometimes the humility part for me comes, you know, out of the selfish need for God's grace. <laughs> you know, like, you know yeah. because I want to stay humble, yeah. of course, because I know how much God hates pride, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but at the same time, I know, you know, grace is, he gives it to the, to the humble. And, and you know what? Like, I screw up enough times that I need God's grace. If I run on God's grace, I'm literally screwed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, so I, you know, that humility part comes, yeah. comes, comes with grace, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, and in reality, you know, we can get to the point where, I mean, it, it's funny, this verse is funny because sometimes like the elders, you know, people, you know, been on years in the church in a long time, you know, mm -hmm. they like to focus on the first part, right? Because mm -hmm. the first part says, young men, in the same way, be submissive to those who are elder. Well, maybe somebody else a lot older than that. I'm not that old. <laughs> He's um, not creaking too much yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can still get off the couch without hurting him. Um, but to those who are older, so, you know, sometimes we like to focus on the first part right but the second part of that says all of you and we forget that part you know we forget that part all of you okay young men okay fine so you know um submit to those who are elder they, they know a little bit more a little bit more wisdom have a better a little bit more understanding right okay fine but then it says all of you all of you right clothe yourself with humility humility Right. And, and so sometimes we go through this process where where we, we kind of promote ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe you're starting your journey new or maybe you've been in your journey for a long time. And, I, and I'm not, you know, kind of judging here or anything like that. Well, I'm just talking about just my, my understanding of my, um, and my and, and, and me personally, what, you know, we can be tempted to do sometimes. Right. Is we can we can go from curious, yeah, I'm curious about God to, you know. To believer, as we start to promote ourselves through the chain of command here, right? Curious, to believer, to save, to follower, to disciple, to teacher, to leader, to pastor, to God. No, no, I, I'm, you know, uh, Mr. Delgado, Jim, I think you took it too far. I, mean, mm -hmm. I would never consider myself God. You know, that's, that's, that's too much. Like, uh, maybe, you know, teacher, leader, yeah, you know, those titles. But, yeah. like, who's mm -hmm. going to be dumb enough to say, well, yeah, I'm God. Well, maybe there are some you know people that are crazy, you know? <laughs> but who's gonna be dumb enough to say like, yeah, yeah, I'm God, you know? But in reality, what's what's God's other name? Judge. Sometimes we promote ourselves to God's position, which is judge. He doesn't call us mm -hmm. to be the judges of the world. He calls us to be humble. And when you're humble, you can more easily work with the people that he has called you to work with. But when you're judgmental, then you're too busy pointing out their faults to show them, to shower them with God's love. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Amen. Amen. No, you can't, you can't be in judgment to someone and, and be hypocritical because ultimately we're going to stand in front of God and he's going to judge us and look through our entire lives. And, um, but that's why we are here to spread the gospel and the good news. Right. Because the Bible also tells us only to judge righteously. And through that, we're able to teach people about the word of God. <laughs> and Ru Ruby almost knocked on the camera. If the camera goes, if this is lost. Ruby yeah. almost ended the podcast early. <laughs> but it is in <laughs> It's it's in this guys. She, she got scared of a dust ball. Sorry. I think so too. She's so skittish. I refocus. <laughs> but it's in this guys we are able to to spread the good news to teach others, and and I need to take my dog out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I hope you guys receive this message. Man, you know, man. God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. So humble humble yourself before God, and He will He will favor you. Amen. Live in service to God. Live in service to those people around you, and God will favor you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Your reward will be great in heaven. So make the most of the time that you have here. You know? <laughs> now my Google's going off. <laughs> Stop, Google. 
humble yourself, guys, before before the Lord and before, and before others. Amen. And if someone has something to say about it, something negative to say about you, you know, turn the other cheek, just as Jesus would, and Amen. and and continue to grow and learn in His Word every every day. We pray that you guys are never discouraged; that you continue to be made new in Christ um, every day, um, not just on the podcast. And and we pray that this blesses you. Um, this is another way to be made new here is living um, and imitating Christ's humility. Amen. 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 And that's it, guys. I think we got to end because the dog is literally having a heart attack. <laughs> no, she's fine. She's just freaking out. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, so blessed to have you here. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe if you guys want to continue to be updated. We post every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, keep an eye out for shorts, just encouraging other people out there. Um, so blessed to have, um, to welcome all the new people that are here. Let's continue to be made new in Christ every single day. Amen. Humility. All right. Stay humble. Amen. God bless you guys. Take care. Sorry. <laughs> Ready? Get start. Three. <laughs> Two. One. Yeah. <laughs> like, is he having a seizure? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? That was funny when you put that in there. All right, let's be focused. Oh, all right, now I'll cut, I'll cut all that out.